Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z, and today we'll be taking a look at the LEGO Super Mario Fire Mario Power Pack, which is set number 71370, it's recognized for versus 6 and up, and it has 11 pieces for the price of $10 when it came out back in August of 2020, which is last year. Now keep that in mind guys, is that LEGO Mario, that Brick Hedge electronic LEGO Mario figure, it's not included with that set. And he only comes in the Mario Star Course set. And what's cool about these power packs is that there's actually some little grooves inside that you could probably take out with his overalls. And inside, there are those dip switches that I actually talked about with those custom LEGO Mario power packs that will happen sometime in 2022. Like the Ice Mario power pack. Or... The, uh, yeah, Cloud Mario Power Pack, or, um, uh, yes, stuff like that. So, with the Fire Flower suit, put Lego Mario in his overalls, and then switch out the cap, and there we go. Mario is now in the Fire Flower suit, so let's put his regular clothes side by side, uh, uh, uh by side. And what's cool about Lego Mario with his Fire Flower suit on is that... You can actually shoot fireballs, you know, imaginary ones, which are different compared to the real ones in the game, like the original Super Mario Brothers. And what's cool is that you can actually take down enemies and get a lot of coins on him, like say by using Bowser Jr. from the Mario Star Course set, shoot fireballs at him, you'll be able to get some sound effects from those fireballs as you're getting a lot of coins. So. <laughs> Destroy Bowser Jr. with one hit, so the, all of these fireballs that I hit with a enemy like a Goomba or Bowser Jr., you'll be able to get a lot of coins on him, and you can probably get one stomp and get rid of enemies pretty easily. So, that is it for the suit. Now let's take a look at the build of the set. And I forgot to tell you that Bowser Jr. is only in the Mario Star Horse set. Same with this electronic Lego Mario figure. The build set includes a small part of a castle with two 4x4 round plates in red to represent lava. And you can actually place the Fire Mario cap on top of a 2x2 two two tile jumper piece in dark blue spray at the top. And underneath there is a 2x2 two two brick in um, light blue spray. And then we got a one by two brick brick piece in light blue screen. And then we also got a one by one pyramid piece in transparent orange with a lava bubble. So place the cap on there on that jumper piece. And for the overalls, just like all of Mario's overalls, we got those two one by one circular tile stud pieces. And you can actually rest them right here on the right. But that's it for the bill of set. I enjoyed it. Well, let's take a look what I made so far with those instructions. Just like how I made all of the other character packs with these custom instruction booklets like series two that I did yesterday. So here's series one instructions for those power packs that I created. And these are the instructions for the Fire Mario power pack that we already took a look at. And there's some other Wave 1 LEGO Mario Power Packs that we have to cover, like, maybe later today, I suppose. So anyways, that's a look at the LEGO Super Mario Fire Mario Power Pack with his Fire Flower suit. As much as how Mario suits Fireballs in LEGO form, it's definitely my least favorite Power Pack from, like, Wave 1 and everything that I know so far. As much as it is so far, I'm thinking I'm gonna rank this one, like, maybe a B plus, just for the heck of it. But what do you guys think about this set overall? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. My name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z sign off. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell icon when I upload a new video for you guys. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.